Good morning. They are taking it back to 1989 to celebrate that anniversary. On Saturday, they're going to have a retro concert. Strange Love, the Depeche Mode experience. And of course, fittingly, you can still go for tickets that are only $19.89. 30 years ago, the Chandler Center for the Arts held its first performance, comedian Steve Allen. It was August 25, 1989, and the $10 million facility was one of the few things in the area. And now it's this vibrant, you know, kind of life scene. And for the Arts Center, it's really been about reflecting our community as it's changed. So Michelle McLennan is the general manager of the center. Um, she says its success is a testimony to the vision the founders had all those years ago. The center has three performance spaces and two art galleries. It partners with Chandler Unified School District, and the facility functions as a learning center for students Monday through Thursday. <laughs> In 30 years, the center's hosted more than 5,000 performances. A big transition for us is when we brought in Katie Lang for her 25th anniversary and just kind of elevating the caliber of those national and inter international touring artists. It's also had a few facelifts, new outdoor design and renovated concessions and amenities, and the installation of a cutting edge audio system. But one thing's remained constant, the center's impact on the growth of Chandler's downtown entertainment district. Arts related spending is significant. McLennan says 80% of the people who attend performances are from outside Chandler, and research shows the center had an $8.8 .8 million impact in 2018. But when people come to see a show, they don't just see a show, they go out for dinner, they go out for drinks, they might need childcare, they might spend the night in a hotel. So what's next? McLennan says in the next few years, they hope to widen their reach. We use every minute of every day in this facility, so it's we're gonna expand into alternative spaces, we're gonna take the arts to the community. It was really cool to learn about the history of this place. And if you haven't made it out to the center yet, on Friday is the last chance for you to go to a free concert. It's part of a free summer concert series. They do this every year. They're going to have a flamenco performance on the main stage here. It's at 730. And again, that's free. But they have so many performances coming up. We have a link to all those performances and tickets and information on our website, abc15.com. All right, Claudia. We're